Hello world, this is Dennis and I have a new video for you today. Um, going to be showing off the two programs I use for the RTL SDR that I just got last week. I've been uh, playing around with this for the last couple days and I made a short video the other day showing what I can record or what I can pick up uh, using my outdoor antenna. Um, so now with this video I'm going to show you the differences between the two programs. Um, HD SDR and SDR Sharp. Um, so let's first bring up uh, S um, sorry HD SDR. Um, this is what it looks like. This is what you saw in the last video. And oh shoot, I was hoping with this update that I could see the mouse pointer better with, when using Active Presenter, but not 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 the case. Oh well, uh, continue on. So. Um, this is your general layout of the uh, program. You've got... Ooh, boy, knocking stuff around, oh boy. This is going well. Anyhow. Well, instead of explaining everything, let's just start off so I can show you what it all looks like. This is uh, 7200 kilohertz, lower sideband. And using um, Radio Hobbyist's advice, I, I've adjusted the bandwidth. So you got your water, waterfall up here, and then you got your spectrum down here. And then this is also a waterfall and spectrum. Um, these have to do with bandwidth, from what I understand. And you got your tuning dial over here, and your, you know... Presets for AM, FM, EC, SS, Exalted Karyo Selectable Sideband. There's something I'm not familiar with. FM, lower sideband, upper sideband, CW, and DRM. So this is what it looks like using the HD SDR, so let's just stop this for a moment. And let's bring up SDR Sharp on the same frequency. And it's got, yeah. Can't remember if it's on. Okay, now it's on lower sideband. Oh, hey, now the mouse pointer's starting to show up better. Okay, so let's start this one up. No device selected. What? Okay, everything. Should what the heck? What the heck? What the heck? I was just oh, I'm wondering if that's maybe just because I got this program going. So okay, let's just exit out of this. Now let's see if Phil. Let me start. He's like a bloody hand. Shook shook him up in the best place. Now they okay. Keep breathing, Mark. Uh, okay, I mean, your plumbing probably, well, how old is that house, do you think, 30 years, 35 years old? Okay, I see the settings here for the... Oh, that doesn't look too bad. I'm always tweaking around a little bit with the contrast and the range here, trying to get just the way I like it. Uh, let's see here. Let's turn it up again. It, it, it's funny though, Sean. Really, the tile and everything in there is uh, like new, you know. There we go. That looks better. I kind of like the SDR Sharp program because it's a little less uh, cluttered. Um, the only the only disadvantage is if I want to switch between like you know AM or the sidebands, I gotta go to the menu here and adjust here. But that's not too bad. But overall, I like the uh, the look of it. I was uh, playing around with this uh, last night for a while, and I really like it. Hey, just walk out in the backyard and hose yourself off. You're a redneck. Quit this 
said if we can get my mouse pointer to show up, there we go. That's what it looks like uh, using it on the slide band. So let's put this on AM and uh, let's just go up to WWV just because it's easy. <laughs> Okay, now let's uh, bring the volume up. Right. So this is what it looks like using SDR Sharp. Now let's go back to um, HD SDR, and we'll go to WWV on. 15 megahertz. Beep. Beep, beep. Beep, 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 beep. Megahertz, and let's start her up. For some reason, I'm getting this weird, um, this weird, well, you know, that you hear, hear this pitch. Let's, uh, let's try 10 megahertz. Wow. Okay, let's just put on Brother Stare for the moment. We will enter in to the kingdom of heaven. What a conglomeration and confusion of human minds, ever learning but never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. I'm not sure Isn't that a profound statement? why I'm getting that, um, that tone that pitch um, at WWV. Um, if anybody knows if there's anything in the settings they need to adjust or anything like that, uh, please let me know so I can fix that. But on other frequencies like this, it's, you know, with uh, Brothers Stare here, it's just fine. How far back was it when men uh, figured out that the earth was round and they go back and give us all kind of historical things and all you gotta do is open up Okay, why is it doing that? Okay, something must be goofed up with the settings on here. Let me go back to uh, SDR Sharp here for a moment, and uh, let's try going those frequencies are on. See if I get that uh, tone. Okay, now it should be on AM. Okay, yep, yeah, it's on AM. is being generated by the uh, computer monitor. Um, okay, let's do WWV again. See what, excuse me, see what it sounds like. Oh, come on, mouse pointer, where are you? Okay, on here all I'm getting is the uh, interference has been generated by the computer monitor. Hmm. Interesting. Gonna have to do some experimenting in uh, in common our nation's capital, Washington, D.C. Figure out what's going on with the SHD SDR. If I have to, I'll just uninstall the program and reinstall it and see if that helps. Uh, be a quick fix to that. Um, so, yeah, these are my um, programs for using the um, my RTL SDR. Um, I'm really enjoying it. I'm having a blast. Um, like I said, I've been using this since 
Thursday night, and I'm quite impressed with what this thing can do. Um, I highly recommend it to anybody who's looking for a SDR. I got it just off of um, eBay, and the reason why I got the one that I got, it already has the PL259 connectors on it, so I didn't have to go out and buy all these adapters. It's, you know, ready to go right off the bat. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and as always, peace and all that good stuff.